Once your UXD Pro is powered on, it's going to request that you plug in a cable. So on the on the other side of the UXD Pro, we have four ports. We have port one is a RJ45 for WAN. Port two is LAN, and port three is another WAN for WAN2 on SFP Plus, and port four is another LAN port SFP Plus as well. So I've got a cable here that's coming coming from my main network with DHCP on it. So I'm going to plug that into port one. Go to the screen. So it says WAN cable connected, connecting to the internet. So internet is connected. This tells me my ISP as well. It says device pending adoption. Go to 192.168.1.1 to complete. So I'm just going to plug my computer in as well to port 2. But that's the easiest solution. So I'm going to plug my laptop into port 2. My machine will get DHCP off that. And we can go from there. Hello and welcome to a new Hostify how-to video. I'm Alex. I'm just going to be covering how to set up a UXG Pro for the first time and how to get it adopted to Hostify. So you would have just seen in the, in the clip beforehand me getting the, the UXG Pro turned on and what it looks like on the little LCD screen of what to do. So we're just, we're just going to continue from that little video. So we we'll us skip past the UXG Pro started up. Uh, we plugged in the WAN cable into port 1. It's got internet. It's now pending pending adoption in our Unified Controller. Um, we're just going to log into the gateway IP address of the of the UXG Pro and see what it says, and just follow the follow our little guide along of the video to go alongside it. So, I've already gone to 192.168.1.1. It's going to now say, I don't know, the certificate's changed to visit the site. So first thing, first thing you can see, it's saying, do you want to name it? So I'm going to agree to the terms and press next. Well, the one option in here is the advanced setup. So if we do have an internet connection that's not DHCP, we can specify PBPOE, static IP, but we're going to leave it on DHCP for, some, for now. It's a bit easier. So we're going to back, and then next. Now, it's asking us to sign into our UI.com email address. Um, the only reason you want to do this is if you have an existing cloud key or, um, or cloud key that's already signed in to the, the unify.ui website, that this is supposed to make the onboarding process a little bit easier, but considering we're adopting our UXD Pro to a cloud-hosted uh, controller by Hostify, we're going to skip this step. So we're going to press skip. Now, it's going to ask us for a few details. It's going to ask us for our fully qualified domain name or FQDN, a port number, username, password, and 2FA. You can also set up the subnet that the UXD Pro is going to give you once it's running. So. If you're adopting this in an existing network, you can specify the gateway IPs and that sort of thing. Um, so in our little guide here that I made earlier, it says, in the next screen, the UXD Pro will ask for the following details. FQDN, port, username, password, and 2FA. So for the FQDN, if you're using Hostify, you can get the FQDN from your portal. So I've already grabbed mine. So my FQDN is this here. So I'm going to put that into the UXG Pro. The port number is also interesting. So usually with Hostify, we recommend using 8080 for the inform address. But the UXG Pro is a little bit different. Uh, you have to use port 8443 for that one. So by default, the UXG Pro is 8443 in here. So I'm just going to put my username and password in here. So we're all set. I've put my FQDN in, port number, my username and password for my unified control I'm using in this specific instance. Um, so what we're going to do is click next. Now it's going to connect out to the network application, use the username and password put in to authenticate itself. And it should be good to go then, basically. So it's going to connect out. So I've got my host of my Hostify Unify controller right here. And we can see the UXD Pro is already provisioning itself. And it says setup complete. So we're going to go back to our network controller. It says the UXD Pro is, is connected. It's got an internet connection. And that's it, basically. You can go from there. Um, I did use the old UI for this specific instance, but it's very, very similar on the on the new UI. Um, but yeah, the uh, UXD Pro is here and good to go. What we would suggest from this stage is to update software if it does need software updating. Um, mine is already up to date. The latest version as of recording is version 1.12.19. So that can be found on Evicted's website if you need to update it. Okay, thank you for watching. If you need to find this guide, the link is, is in the description. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and subscribe to Hostify. Goodbye.